extreme temperatures nearing triple digits across the U.S. Staying properly hydrated is going to be a priority for millions across the country. Dr. Robert Gladder is an emergency physician at Lenox Hill Hospital here in New York City, and he has some facts to separate myth um, from those that aren't. So thanks for being with us thanks this morning. We appreciate it. it. Let's talk about what the dangers are with dehydrating. Well, with, generally with dehydration, you're worried about the initial phases where you're not aware of what's going on. Mm -hmm. In other words, you feel me feel fatigued, dizzy, nauseous. You don't realize that you're getting dehydrated. Right. And these are the nonspecific or vague symptoms you really worry about. Okay, so w another one of the myths we hear about, you have to drink eight glasses of water a day. That's True. just, that's outdated, that's not true. There's, basically it's the amount of water that quenches your thirst. You have a thirst mechanism in your body which functions to, to, tell, to tell you basically how much to drink. And there's no hard and fast rule. It's the amount of uh, fluid that's going to make you feel... So it doesn't uh, have to just be water? No, absolutely not. You get other fluids from juices, coffee, um, other fluids that you may consume throughout the day, but it does not have to be water. Mm -hmm. Okay, so with a, a lot of people have said once you're thirsty, it's too late. You're already starting to get dehydrated. Is that true or false? Absolutely not. Okay. Uh, your body, uh, basically, you're less than 1% dehydrated once you begin to feel a bit of a thirst. Okay. And you're, you're not behind the eight ball at all. You can begin to drink fluids and you'll be fine. A lot of folks spend a lot of money on these sports drinks that have the electrolytes. Oh, we need electrolytes. True or false? Uh, not true. If you exercise less than one hour, uh, which is the bulk of people, all you need is water. Mm -hmm. People that do endurance work uh, need carbohydrates and sodium. Those are the main issues after one hour. This can be obtained in foods such as pretzel, pretzels or an energy bar. So like does not have to come from these drinks. Mm -hmm. So we've heard, I feel like just recently, a lot of people that are drinking too much water are actually dying from it. There was a woman, I remember, who did a radio right. contest. How does that happen? What exactly happens well, basically, when you drink? Yeah, absolutely. What happens is that water can actually make your cells swell and it can drop your sodium content. Uh -huh. And that can cause seizures, put you actually into a coma. It can be very dangerous. So how much is too much? Well. Throughout the day, normally we drink anywhere from uh, 6 to 12 cups a day. To drink excessively, which would mean probably anywhere from 3 to 5 liters rapidly, that could lead to water intoxication. And, and not to uh, be a little indelicate, but people say that uh, uh, as you pass water and you look, it should be clear. Correct. Um, that actually is a myth. Um, your urine should be pale yellow. Clear urine is actually a sign of overhydration. It means that your kidneys are expelling water. So pale yellow is what you're actually shooting for. All right. mm. and, and coffee, a lot of people drinking coffee, is that okay to drink? It's okay, one cup a day, actually up to five cups a day is okay. It's only after the fifth cup, or 500 milligrams, where the, the uh, diuretic effect of caffeine becomes an issue. Right, so it's Dr. okay, have your morning coffee, the water you thank get you is, is excellent. Dr. Glider, thank you so You're much. Welcome.